Hey, what's up guys? Danny from Danny Max Kitchen. Great to see you as always. I hope you all had a really fantastic holiday this 2015. I definitely did. I love getting together with family, especially because I don't get to see a majority of them most of the year. And this year's theme for Christmas was Italian. And my Aunt Irene put together this slamming tray of lasagna. I can't say enough about it. And the appetizers and the prosciutto and the mozzarella and the tomatoes, I, I, it goes on and on. And as usual, we always eat too much and drink too much. So I promised myself in today's episode that I was going to do something light for you guys, especially because prior episodes that have been more like holiday related have been really heavy. So that's exactly what I'm going to do, guys. Today, we're going to make a spicy tuna tartare. And we're going to serve it with a little smashed avocado. It's easy. It's fun to do. And it rocks. Let's do this. So this is what I picked up, guys. It's a nice piece of yellowfin tuna. It's really firm, which you can tell. It's nice and fresh. It doesn't have any smell. Another... Um, being indicative that it's also fresh and basically what I'm gonna start doing right now is cubing it to make our tartare. So this is probably like an inch thick. I'm gonna cut it into thirds, get my very sharp knife and I'm just gonna start slicing it down. Next I'm gonna slice this into thin strips. Like so. Sometimes you get a little sinew in the uh, tuna, that's okay. Just be careful with your knife. And lastly, all we need to do now is take our strips and we're going to make cubes. Nice small cubes. Probably like, like an eighth of an inch, eighth of an inch. Not that I'm measuring, but yeah, you get the picture. <laughs> Grab yourself a small bowl, guys, and I'm just going to add the tuna to the bowl. And I like to spice it up a little bit because I think, you know, by itself it's great, but I, I just like a little, a little additional spice. So I'm gonna add some white sesame seeds, just a pinch. I'm gonna add some sesame oil and a little bit of soy, not too much, about a teaspoon each. And then I'm gonna add some of my favorite fiery sriracha hot sauce, also about a teaspoon. And I'm just gonna stir this until combined. So this is cutting an avocado open and dicing it 101. Grab a knife, nice sharp knife, and just start slicing until you hit the pit inside. Keep going around until you meet the other side where you started from, and open her up. After you've removed the pit, we're gonna start to cut this into small dice, and I find the easiest way to do so is just to hold it in your hand, grab a knife, and just start cutting down vertically like this. Be careful though, because you know, you can go through the skin and cut yourself and I don't want any nasty comments, so I'm warning you ahead of time. Just be very, very gentle. Now turn it and do the same thing and you can see the dice are already starting to form. When you're ready to remove the avocado, grab yourself a spoon, like a tablespoon. Just go against the skin and it's all going to come out just like that. Perfect. I've placed my diced avocado in a large bowl. I'm gonna start adding a few things to it just to jazz it up a little bit, like some fresh cilantro, which I love, some finely chopped scallions, and the juice of a half of a lime. Mix all of this together, really good. Kind of like actually mash the avocado on the side of the bowl. So you're almost getting like, a, like a, almost like an avocado mash, but it's not mashed. Um, it just makes for like a nice presentation, I think, and it goes better with the tuna. Let's plate this up, guys. I have some daikon radish sprouts on the bottom of the plate. I'm using a ring mold, which you can pretty much pick up at any bake shop or arts and crafts store, which is where I got mine. I got mine at Michael's. And I'm going to start by placing the avocado down first. Good, nice little layer of it. And I'm just going to pat it down with a spoon. Just like that. And I'm going to place the tuna that we've seasoned so beautifully right on top of this. I can smell the sesame oil. It's amazing. And I'm going to press this down too so it's firm. And I'm going to lift the mold off and we're going to have a beautiful presentation. Voila! Loving that. I'm going to garnish this with some seaweed salad right in the middle. 
and accent it perfectly. And I am loving this. Enjoy, guys. So I promised you guys something light and easy and that's what I delivered. I was very happy and excited to put this together for you guys because I've never done an application like this on Danny Max before. I'm really excited though. It's for 2016 and the rock and recipes I have coming your way. So if you haven't subscribed to the channel, please do so now. And if you have any comments about today, any episode or anything in general, if you just want to leave like a funny, you know, what your new New Year's resolution is going to be, leave a comment down below. My New Year's resolution is going to be to try and not be late for things. But we'll see how that goes. I don't know. I'll try. Guys, have a happy, healthy 2016. It was great spending time with you. Danny from Danny Max Kitchen.